This is NAS with Virtual Tech. To host a website with PHP using Windows, first we'll open a browser window. Once the browser window is open, we'll type HTML5 up.net. This will take us to the HTML5 up website. Here we can download fully responsive website templates. We'll download the first template. After that is downloaded, we'll open a new tab. Then we'll type windows.php.net. This will take us to the PHP for Windows homepage. Next, we'll click Downloads. We'll look for PHP 8.0. We'll see zip files for the 64 bit version, and then we'll see a x86 or a 32 bit version. Choose the appropriate zip file for your operating system. We'll choose the 64-bit zip file. Once that's downloads, then we'll open Windows Explorer. In Windows Explorer, we'll look for downloads. We'll right-click the HTML file, and we'll extract everything. We'll do the same with the PHP zip file. Right-click, and then click Extract. We'll open the HTML file and see the HTML template files. Next, we'll cl right click on your operating system drive, then open a new window. Here, we'll create two new folders. The first folder is called Website. We can right click again, click New Folder, then type PHP 8. We'll open the website folder and we're going to copy all the downloaded website template files into the operating system drive folder. We'll go back and we'll do the same thing, this time using the downloaded PHP 8 files. Copy everything. And paste it in the associated operating system folder. Afterwards, we'll scroll down and we'll look for php.ini-development. We'll copy this file, right click, click copy, and we'll paste it in the same directory. We'll rename this pasted file and call it php dot ini. This is the PHP configuration file. It will have the extension ini. Confirm the change. Next, we'll click on the start button. Then we'll click control panel. Here in the search bar, we'll type variable. Look for the system and click edit the system environment variables. In the advanced tab of system properties, click environment variables. Look for system variables, scroll down and click edit on the path. Here we're going to add the PHP directory, so we type semicolon C drive colon backslash PHP 8. Then click OK. Click OK again and click OK. Next, we'll open up the browser window, click a new tab, and we're going to type Microsoft Visual Runtime 2019. We'll need this for the PHP installation. We'll get the latest supported. Download the appropriate runtime for your operating system. 32-bit, use x86. 
For 64-bit operating systems, use x64. Once that's downloaded, we'll open it, confirm, and run it. You can agree to the license terms and conditions and click install. Next, we're going to try out PHP. We'll click the start button. We'll type CMD and click it. This will open the command prompt. In the command prompt, type php-v, and you'll see the version of PHP is 8.08. .08. Next, we're going to try to run a website. We'll change the directory cd space c colon for slash website. And you can see here that they have the HTML5 template files. Next, we'll try to host a website. Type PHP dash capital S localhost colon 8000. Click enter. You'll be able to see this server running. We can change the port, but the current port we selected was 8000. Let's test it out. Open the browser window, click a new tab. We're going to type in the browser window localhost colon 8000. At this point, we should see that the local server is running. So let's open another command window, click the start button, type cmd, click command. In this window, we're going to type ipconfig. This will show us the router IP address. We will try to run another server using this IP address. First, we need to change directory. So cd c colon forward slash website. Then we'll type php dash s. This will be respective of your current drive. We will change the port to 8001 and click allow access. Now we will try to see this in the browser window. In another browser tab, colon 8001. As you can see, it works. You can also use port forwarding in your router configuration to put this server online. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for visiting our channel. Virtual Tech's mission statement is to assist as many YouTubers as possible in addressing their Mac, PC, and mobile device issues. We actually respond to the text messages we receive. So if you have any nagging questions relating to computer or mobile device issues, please text Tech Issue to 818-732-9142 and we will promptly release a video on our channel with your question addressed. If you want us to keep providing free content, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and like our videos. You can also donate to our channel by looking in the YouTube description of all our videos. If you would like to join our team in creating video content, text Content Creator Job, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks, and enjoy our content.